in the example number eight, uh, we'll be solving an example number eight on uh, a machine running as a uh, motor and it is feeding a generator. So the question is like a three phase thousand kilowatt, three point three kilowatt, fifty hertz, four pole star connected synchronous motor. So it's a three phase thousand kilowatt, three point three kilowatt. Fifty hertz four pole motor receives its supply from a three phase fifteen hundred kVA three phase. 50 kVA 3.3 kilovolt 8 pole signal generator. The synchronous reactants of the motor and the generator are as 3.5 and 3 ohm. So X M here will be equal to three point five and X G is three ohm. So I will be using the same color for this so that one can understand. X M is given as three point five ohm. So we have to neglect all the losses. So we have to determine the maximum torque that the synchronous motor can deliver and uh, the assumption we have to make in this question is like uh, that the excitation of the, each machine has been separately adjusted to the value that would be needed for the rated load at unit power factor condition at their terminals. <clears throat> so in this question we have to find the torque, maximum torque which can be delivered by the motor. We have to find the maximum torque required by the motor, neglecting all the losses. How this question goes? Rather than directly going into the question, we can have the figure so that one can understand this thing. This is the motor which is generating EM and this is the XM, this is EG, this is XG and the voltage here is V, voltage, terminal voltage V. So for this, first of all we will find the supply frequency for the generator. <clears throat> frequency generator FS sorry FG would be equals to 120 PN by 120 P for the parameter rate into the speed of rotation of the generator is given as uh, me, this one, 750 rpm eight into 750 upon 120. So I get F as 50 hertz frequency of the motor, and frequency of the generator. So the frequency of the generator and the motor are same. So they can parallelly work now. So the current 
when the excitation adjusts are created load and unity power factor. So, for the excitation uh, at unity power factor and rated load will be I is equal to we have been given x 50 kV oh, sorry 10,000 thousand kV thousand into root three it's a motor divided by under root of three into three point three into ten to the power three into one which will be giving us 175 amperes. So 175 amperes is here. So I can find EG right now. Generated the 175 amperes is coming here. So but obviously it will be coming from here. So the current here would be since these are in series, the current would here would also be the same. B plus I A into R A or X G. Xc, which is equals to B is given as 3.3 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by root 3 plus of I is given as 175 into Xg is given as 3. So I can get Eg as 2430.7 volts. 2430.7 volts. See the idea was actually that the current I was not here. I was not having the current here. But how much current was going towards the machine side? I was not having. But the machine was, is operating at thousand kilovolt. It has been delivered thousand kilovolt at three point three kilovolt. So I can find the current from this point. So I got current here at one seventy five amperes. So the current is actually moving from this place. So this is the current which is coming out of the generator and this would be 175 amperes only. So this 175 into 3 and this will be giving me the generated voltage and the terminals of the generator EG that is 2430.7 volts. <coughs> so now in the same way I can find the EM also. So EM will be equal to B minus I into X M. So here it would be 3.3 into 10 to the power of 3, the same. Divided by root 3, it's a 3 phase motor minus of I current, which is 175 into 3.5. That is exactly equal to 1292.8. So, the maximum power delivered with stability, this is an important formula, please remember this. The cell phone, I can remove this thing. <clears throat> This is a very important for, for an objective type of question. 
directly this problem can be asked in some questions when the maximum power delivered with stability to the motor would be equal to Eg into Em upon Xg plus Xm. So by putting the values as Eg I got as 2430.7 multiplied by Em I got as uh, 1292.8 and already Xg and Xm are given Xg is 3 ohms plus of xm is 3.5 ohms. So by solving this, I can get P maximum at as 483.351 kilowatts. 483.351 kilowatts. This is the power, maximum power which will be given to the motor. So uh, from P is equal to T omega I can find the top T maximum but for that I need to find the omega. So for that uh, we need to find at what speed the synchronous motor is running. So <clears throat> I can find now the speed NS of the motor since speed of the motor will be 120 into the frequency is 50 Hz divided by the number of poles that is the fourth pole. The speed of the rotation of the synchronous motor will be 1500 RPM. Therefore, the omega will be equal to 25 and S divided into by 60. That is equal to 2 into pi into and s is 1500 divided by 60. So I can get this as 25 revolution per second. That is 25 revolution per second. So now I can get the T max of the motor by power omega power I got as 483.351 483.351 divided by my 25 RPS sorry this is in revolution per second and for this I can remove this thing right now I can directly write over here that 2 pi into 25 that is so I can get P max motor as 3077 Newton meters. So uh, actually uh, this is in our revolution per minute so I have to convert it into revolution per second for so here RPS so I will be using this formula revolution per second. 2 pi into uh, 25 or I can use directly the this multiplied by, by 2 pi n s by uh, 60. So I will be getting some uh, omega over here and directly omega is equal to 2 pi into n. So this I have that over here. So I got 3077.5. 3077 newton meters. So, what exactly the idea was that the current is flowing from here 175 mk. So, I got Em over here, I got Eg over here. So, and the, by the formula Eg into Em upon Xg plus Xm, that is the maximum power delivered to the motor with stability, uh, is I got as 483.5. 351 and uh, we know that the power is equal to P omega. Uh, so I got uh, the top maximum top which was asked in the question P max as P by omega that is 3077 meter meters.